it is the most is the most common site of a tumor in salivary glands. Most of parotid tumor are benign, 80 to 90 percent. Most common benign tumor is pleomorphic adenoma. Most of the tumor arise from the superficial part and presented with a slow growing, careless swelling, either below the ear or in front of the ear or at the upper part of the neck. Less common tumor arise from the lobe, accessory lobe of the parotid gland, which give a swelling within the cheek. Yani, a co-accessory lobe, uh, al duct, haribat kun, hadek kun, tumor al cheek. Rarely tumors may arise from the deep lobe of the gland, which then presented as parafragile mass. It is one of the causes of dysphagia and snoring, difficulty in swallowing. And malignant tumor of the gland usually presented with rapid painful swelling in the gland. Patients usually presented as either discrete mass with infiltration uh, into the overlying skin or diffuse but hard swelling of the gland with discrete mass or cervical lymph node metastasis, facial nerve weakness, but it is. Uh, if it is absent, not exclude malignancy. This is one of the pleomorphic adenoma. This is big pleomorphic adenoma. And the investigations for tumors of the parotid, we use CT scan, MRI, FNA, C, but open biopsy is prohibited and contraindicated. All space occupying lesion of the superficial lobe of the parotid gland should be treated by superficial parotidectomy. No place for enucleation of the swelling, even if it is benign, and no place for open biopsy. And phases of operation include incision and development of a skin flap. The most commonly used incision is lazy as lazy S incision, preauricular mastoid cervical incision, and mobilization of the gland. The phase of the differentiation dissection is aimed to free the posterior margin of the gland and to identify the facial nerve. And after that, identification of the branches of the facial nerve. Landmark used is uh, a trunk of facial nerve is inferior portion of cartilaginous uh, auditory canal. Location of the facial nerve trunk and dissection of the gland of the facial nerve. Once the facial nerve trunk is identified, further exposure of the branch of the facial nerve can be achieved. The upper division divided into temporal zygomatic branches and lower division to mandibular and cervical branches. And the closure the patient is placed in Trendelenburg position to identify any residual bleeding vessels and section drain or radivac drain for 24 to 48 hours. And the wound is closed in layers. Complication of parotid gland surgery, complication of submandibular gland uh, excision, hematoma formation, infection temporary facial nerve, uh, uh, weakness and palsy, transection of facial nerve and permanent damage, cyalocele, facial numbness, and permanent numbness of the earlobe associated with the great auricular nerve transection, and permanent facial weakness after radical barotidectomy and the Frey syndrome. Radical barotidectomy, and high stem have a malignant tumor, is performed for patient with in home. There is a clear logical evidence of high-grade malignant tumor, like squamous cell carcinoma. Low-grade malignant tumor can be treated by superficial barotidectomy. Radical barotidectomy involves removal of all
antlacrimal female and male ratio 10 to 1. It is more common in female. And then it is autoimmune disease, destructive to salivary and lacrimal glands. And secondary type associated with connective tissue disorder, 15% with rheumatoid arthritis may develop Sjogren syndrome, while 50% of SLE cause may get cases may get the syndrome. Primary type not associated with connective tissue disorder, but it is more severe and high incidence of lymphoma transformation. Primary Sjogren syndrome differ from secondary Sjogren syndrome in that xerostomia and keratoconjunctivitis sicca occur. The symptoms are often more severe and the incidence of lymphoma for transformation is more common with the primary type. And pathological finding, there is a progressive focal lymphocytic infiltration as in our cell destruction. Diagnosis depends on history. There is no specific single pathognomonic uh, feature and management of the condition is symptomatic complication usually B-cell lymphoma complicate a primary type. Xerostomia, a normal salivary flow decrease with the age, yani jafaf. Common causes of xerostomia, chronic and anxiety state, dehydration, anticholinergic drug, salivary gland disorder like Sjogren syndrome and ascending parotitis, and radiotherapy to the head and the neck. Sialuria, yani excessive salivation, or taban, uh, uncontrolled drooling, usually seen in the presence of normal salivary production, it is seen in children with mental and physical handicap with cerebral, uh, cerebral palsy, physical handicap like cerebral palsy, and management, and controllable drooling managed surgically and many operations like bilateral submandibular duct repositioning, bilateral submandibular gland excision, and uh, uh, transposition of the parotid ducts. Cervical lymph nodes, the common causes of enlargement of the cervical lymph nodes or cervical <laughs> lymphadenopathy reactive lymphadenopathy due to infection, tuberculosis, secondary malignant deposit, or primary malignancy like lymphoma and sarcoidosis. And the principles of management of uh, cervical adenopathy, full history, clinical investigations, uh, examination and investigations, and if a primary found any block dissection mm -hmm. and if infection treated according to the cause. Yani, el, a treatment according to the history, clinical examination, and investigation. If the cause is tuberculosis, in so cervical lymph biopsy, cervical lymph node biopsy, this is a histopathology that the lack TB treated accordingly. If it is lymphoma, also by chemotherapy, if it is inflammatory, then antibiotic and according. Thank you very much. Bas mulahada inu al matlub min atkum ahma al PowerPoint hiya nafsha mustanbata min al muhadarat wal muhadarat intum ham nazzalnaha alkum. Fatqroon al muhadarat wa tistafidun min al pictures bil PowerPoint. Thank you very much.